Okay. It's okay. Now, Rauchini, which is a rice ball that's stuck with a, uh, a cheese. So, those are the three things. I didn't say that word right, probably, but it's not my menu. <laughs> it's their menu that they're showing us so that we can enjoy it and maybe bring some of that to you. So, that's exactly right. It's our first take, and we'll be right back. Hi, we're back with our first tasting from the Cheney uh, Test Kitchen. Here's a item that we're taking a look at as to put on our appetizer menu. Chef, you want to go ahead and talk real briefly about the item? Well, this is arancini, which is basically a rice ball stuffed with a cheese stuffing on the uh, inside, and then it's served with a fresh tomato sauce garnished with uh, some probably some Parmigiano Romano cheese and maybe some uh, cilantro. It looks like a great uh, great appetizer item. We'll be tasting it in just a few minutes. That's done. I think it's a really nice dish here um, that will be, uh, be exciting for the menu. Chef? So this is steamed clams in their own natural juices along with some white wine uh, garnished uh, with uh, some chorizo and some tomato and it looks like some basil and then we have the little ciabatta or bruschetta uh, type bread to garnish with it that way. Super. Family favorite. This is going to be a hit. We know it. Right. This is a macaroni and cheese spin, more like adult a macaroni and cheese. And inside that we have crawfish and we have chorizo. Uh, I'm sorry, not chorizo, bacon. And then again, it's garnished with the bruschetta as well. And these are nice uh, individual portions that we can produce out of the back of the kitchen with the pizza oven. So it'll be really a great dish. Good news on this macaroni and cheese item is, is that we can also include it just straight up, basically on the children's menu, not at any, any of the uh, fresh fish or anything like that. So we're gonna be tasting this uh, in just a quick second. Uh, I guarantee it's all gonna be very good. So we'll be right back. Welcome back. We're on to our uh, last appetizer of the, uh, of the food tasting. So, uh, Chef, uh, why don't you go ahead? Thank you, Mr. Kinney. This is a, uh, this would not represent what an appetizer plate would represent. It would probably, this is more of an entree thing, but we might do three of these. These are uh, U10 uh, bay scallops, meaning 10 to a pound or under, and they're sitting on a rice cake with a reduction of sweet vermouth and uh, cream garnished with uh, cilantro and chives. Very, very tasty. They've been pan seared. That's where you get that caramelization on top of the scallops. And uh, the, the sauce is reduced into the, in the pan after the, after the scallops are seared. But we're looking at this maybe more for an appetizer than anything. Three, 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 three to an order. With that being said, we're getting ready to taste them. And I'll tell you what, we can't wait. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We just um, we just ate some outstanding scallops, um, and they were they were awfully awfully good. Now we're being spoiled with another menu item that we want to spoil you at Ed Williams, which is um, uh, which is a crab a crab cake on on salad. So, uh, Bill, why don't you go ahead? Okay. So what they've got here for us today is a four ounce crab cake that's been drizzled with a uh, chive aioli, and then it has. Uh, it's on a bed of hearts of greens, which is a multitude of different greens, and but just the center part, the sweeter part of the of the green. It's garnished with uh, Campari tomatoes and oven roasted uh, peppers, as well as the avocado. A great item that we might consider adding to the dinner menu as a dinner salad entree for about mm, fifteen ninety five or something like that. All right, super. All right, thanks. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We're now moving on to the entree portion of uh, today's uh, food tasting at the Cheney Test Kitchen. So um, I'll let Chef describe, but you're looking at a beautiful, beautiful crab cake. And, uh, and Chef, it's, it's called the Baseball uh, Top Sirloin? Baseball Top Sirloin um, on top oven roasted gold uh, Yukon Gold potatoes. The crab cake, I'm going to just lift it up here so you can see it's got the vegetables underneath it. Those are baby vegetables. Uh, and a wax uh, bean medley is along with the broccolini. This is the crab cake with a uh, with a lemon chive a a aioli and the, the baseball cut top sirloin, which is a very flavorful cut of meat, um, has a uh, red wine reduction demi glaze. The top sirloin, the sirloin sits on top of uh, what kind of potatoes? The Yukon potatoes. It's oven roasted Yukon potatoes. Great. So, Looks like a great entree. What we like about these entrees that we're, that we're taking a look at, that Bill's taking a look at, 
the price points are really, really good. Everything's been geared toward our price points and what Bill might be able to offer this on the menu. Where do you see this on trade? Chef, go ahead. There's another op opportunity for a surf and surf kind of menu item. This is a stuffed shrimp. They're from Argentine, and they're uh, uh, an Argentine red shrimp, as well as they're stuffed with a crab meat mixture. And these are two um, petite fillets, again, atop the oven roasted Yukon gold potatoes. Real nice dish. Price point, once again, really, really good. We'll be right back. Welcome back, Chef. So what do you think about the two surf and turf uh, that we just, uh, that we wow. just tried? The, the two surf and turf uh, dishes that we had are just spectacular. The shrimp, that red shrimp, whether it be stuffed or not stuffed, is just so tender and so flavorful. Um, even the, the shrimp want to get a, a, out of Argentine. Pretty funny. <laughs> we have no, I agree. The Argentina red shrimp, really, really good. Great, great price point. So that's very, very exciting. Um, the sirloin and the what was the other state petite fillets. the petite fillets really really good very very tender great dish love the plate presentation i mean what we're taking a look at here is what we'd be marrying plate presentations going forward with right right okay all right our next entree up chef go ahead all right so this is a pork shank that's been braised which is a cooking technique to allow it to become very tender and um, the, the Cheney Brother people have uh, uh, sauced this with a uh, mustard, a ground mustard sauce and brandy demi glaze. It's served on uh, Cipollini oven roasted to, uh, onions as well as oven roasted beets. That's what these little guys are here, diced up. And it sets on a bed of uh, oven roasted uh, Yukon gold potatoes. I'm really looking forward to this dish because pork is one of my favorite dishes. We'll let you know how it is in just a few moments. We'll be right back. Welcome back, Kyle. That, that Pork shank was just absolutely amazing, wasn't it? It was tender. It fell right off the bone. That was really a great, great pork shank. I think the plate presentation was, was phenomenal. Taste was uh, was great. Another really good uh, price point on uh, that. The presentation was really, really good. So, uh, so we'll see how uh, how royal members like it. So, uh, Jeff, next up, to show you. Go ahead, describe it. Here is uh, here's the grouper presentation. Right. This is a uh, what they've done for us today is a is a eight to ten ounce grouper fillet that's been topped with a Parmesan bread crumbing, uh, and then it, as they baked it, it's souffleed up a little bit. Uh, it sets on a bed of uh, roasted uh, miniature vegetables and asparagus, uh, and it's sauced with a uh, tomato um, aioli, roasted pepper, and tomato aioli. Chef, it looks like a big size. What do you think you'd offer it uh, weight-wise? I think we would go down just to make sure that we fit into the price points of where we want to be to a six to eight ounce. So we drop this by two ounces, which would which would center it like here instead. So we wouldn't be we'd be missing that part. I think that's a that's a more economical uh, presentation and a more economical uh, price for this dish on the plate. The uh, Cheney corporate chef made uh, two of these. We've already had the first one and we're saving this one for the presentation. I thought it was very, very tender as well. It had a great, great taste to it. Uh, very, very fresh. What do you think, Chef? Well, I, I, I love it. And um, uh, with that oven roasted tomato um, aioli, it's just really, it's really nice. Very nice. Super. Next up, now Chef has gone on, the corporate chef from Cheney has gone on. Um, he found out that uh, duck is one of uh, Bill's favorite entrees. So uh, he threw this on the menu. We haven't tasted this yet. But, um, Chef, go ahead, describe the uh, well, duck dish. This is an oven-roasted um, duck half that's been cut in half and then it's you know, presented this way. It sets on a bed of uh, baby vegetables and bok choy, and it's sauced with a, um, a maple syrup, maple syrup and San Marino cherry sauce. San Marino cherries can be used for many different applications, but uh, as those of you who like duck will know that this is one of the favorite uh, presentations to do uh, or sauces to put with a, uh, a, a duck because it cuts that 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 kind of heavy flavor that that the duck has the San Marino chairs are going to be a real nice uh, yin-yang balance uh, off of the duck so we're really enjoying it so much. I agree we'll be right back with our final entrees and then I think we're gonna have a couple of desserts. Wow welcome back the duck that was phenomenal 
It was a that. great, great dish. Great dish. Very, very tender. I, I thought the I thought the sauce was uh, was phenomenal. Chef, what do you think? I just love those San Bernardino cherries. They're just really great. And uh, the duck was just was crispy on the outside, but got still juicy and moist on the inside and very tender. So. Duck is one of my more favorite dishes anyway, so I really enjoy it. Great, great. I think we'd probably see that on the menu come this fall, maybe heading through the season. Yep, in the for those, fall. For those that uh, like the duck. Um, Chef, go ahead. Um, this is a huge entree. Go ahead. Why don't you uh, okay, so walk what, us through it? What the chef has done here uh, is, is this is a veal chopped milanese, and he's, pound, he's uh, pounded it out, and it's served on top of a... Um, five cheese stuffed banana pepper. That's not a spicy pepper, that's just a very flavorful pepper. And he served it on a bed of greens. It's got some uh, calamari olives and, and uh, tomatoes, and I believe this is arugula, drizzled with a, a balsamic uh, drizzle as well. But the real cool thing about this is, is that, look how beautiful and big this, this chop is. And then, Kyle, show them what they started out with. So this is, this is how it comes into, uh, comes into the kitchen. Um, Chef, you pound it out. What's the, what's the purpose of uh, pounding it out for uh, present, Well, it's for twofold. Service? Number one, obviously, of course, it's going to make it more tender. And it enables it to cook it at even, even done this when you're sauteing this in a pan with the breadcrumbs on it. But the other thing that it does um, is you give it a spectacular plate coverage when you pound this out. So between the two, uh, the, the tender and uh, even cooking process and then, and then the plate presentation beautiful presentation this is no doubt a, uh, a take-home eat again the next day mm -hmm. uh, Probably with that. So. so wonderful we'll be right back we're back with the veal salt sambuca this is really much more of a, of a, of a winter staple as you move into the hard winter uh, of the of the season uh, but we're trying we're trying everything there's not many opportunities to get up here to the Cheney food kitchen chef it's a huge entree we're doing family style today but um, Go ahead, I'll let you describe the dish. All right, so you're right, uh, Kyle. The portions are real big. We probably would just go with this size portion on on an entree plate for um, for the, the, the wintertime menu. It's served on a bed of uh, pasta. It's got different oven roasted vegetables uh, as well. And, and uh, here's something really cool. He's got fried um, um, sage on there as a garnish. But the salt and buca is uh, from a veal butt, pounded out, pounded out, and then it's got uh, the uh, prosciutto ham and fontana cheese, as well as uh, a mushroom demi glaze over the top of it. So it's kind of a, a non-traditional salt and buca, but it's got a modern uh, twist to it with the portachinis and the, and the, and the glaze. A Very great, nice looking yeah, dish. Yeah, great, a great fall winter uh, dish on, on a on a chilly evening. So we Goodness. haven't we haven't tried this yet, but uh, we'll be diving into it in just about a minute. And we're told it's the best one yet so far, which that's really hard to believe. But <laughs> we'll go with that. You know, see where we're at with it later on. All right, we'll be right back. Well, it's been a long day here. We finally have hit the uh, the dessert portion. Uh, we've gone ahead and told Jane uh, to. Just give us a couple of selections of uh, desserts. Um, we've already tried these and outstanding, just outstanding. Chef, go ahead. Well, Cheney Brothers is going to provide us with a small cot and a room so we can take a nap after this all has <laughs> been done. But what we have is we have a praline uh, flan and then we also have a, a chocolate hazelnut flan. These are individual desserts that actually could be used uh, on a buffet or a banquet or something like that. Um, very very tasty they're also very light so it's not like it's a finish to a perfect meal you know not too much yeah I agree it's, it's nice it's, it's um, for a dessert the cost per unit is uh, certainly a little bit more but um, it's certainly something we can take a look at as we build the new menu prices and uh, in our experience in, uh, in the dining room so uh, with that being said that's the end of the uh, of the food show we're gonna take a quick tour and uh, we'll do one more greeting before uh, before we say it's a wrap. Thanks, everyone. Welcome back. We're in our final moments here of our first ever produced YouTube video. We're at Cheney Brothers Test Kitchen. You've been watching the video all afternoon long. We've got to make a special thanks to the corporate chef, uh, Joe,
for uh, spending the entire afternoon working with us. Thank I'll you. turn it over to uh, Chef Bill. Chef Bill, thank, thank you, you very much. Chef Joe. Appreciate it. Had a lot of great food. Appreciate your uh, variety that you showed us and and your professionalism and how you presented everything. I think we can take some things back and really make our uh, sparkle up our menu quite a bit and make it a real success. We appreciate your help with that. Absolutely, anytime. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you for coming. On behalf of Royal Wood, have a great summer. We'll be in touch soon. That's Bye. a wrap.